If you made a video, for example, about Albion Online, just like I did yesterday behind me, how do you pick the title? My title sucks. Let's collaborate in games like Albion Online. Who's going to search for that? So how do you find out how to title your videos? Just type into the YouTube search up there and look. The most popular search is Albion Online Gameplay, then Albion Online, the Albion Online Review, Albion Online Gameplay 2016, and Albion Online PvP and Horse. Hey look, you should make a video about Albion Online Horses if you're looking for a topic because I doubt too many people will know to make a video titled that. It works for anything. Let's say you are a World of Warcraft fan. So you can type World of Warcraft and you can see what people want to learn about. World of Warcraft Legion, that's the new expansion. World of Warcraft gameplay, movie trailer, trailer, cinematic lore, and so on. This shows you what's hot right now, what people are searching for, what's trending, and use it to pick titles for your videos that will get you more views because you will appear in those popular search results more often. Improve your tags by using trending and popular phrases relevant to your video. Do not use third-party sites and do not copy other people's tags thinking you will get more views. Here's how to do it. Use the search box with phrases relevant to your video. So if you're making a Minecraft PvP video, copy every phrase here relevant to your video into your tags. If you're doing a YouTube tips video like I am, I used everything except YouTube tips for PewDiePie because that's not relevant for my video or the for better audio phrase. Here are all the tags I used in my video yesterday, starting with all of the relevant phrases from the YouTube search dropdown. Then I added specific tags, YouTube video SEO, video SEO, SEO, title SEO, because the video showed you how to improve your video title to get more views. Then I added some common tags that I use in every episode of The George Show, The George Show, George, George Venus. Those are the three classes of tags you should use in all of your videos to get more views. One, the YouTube search drop down, get relevant phrases from there. Two, specific phrases for your video. And three, common phrases you share across all videos on your channel. If you do this consistently, I predict that you will grow a lot faster than you're currently growing. Users primarily choose what video to watch based on the thumbnail itself. Therefore, it's crucial to have a good thumbnail in order for people to watch your videos. So in this video, I'm going to show how I create a thumbnail for my videos. Alright, so first, let's head over to YouTube and see what competition we have. So these are the top videos for how to create a thumbnail. So let's examine the similarities and differences between these. I do this so that way my thumbnail will stand out. Most of these have very bold text and very colorful. Um, I don't know, it looks a little too clickbaity for me. Um, this one looks relatively boring, sorry James, but um, some of these just don't really make sense. Like, I would rather something more simplistic. Okay, so we can copy some of these ideas. Now we know sort of what our competition is. Let's go over to the website where I make my thumbnails. And that is canva.com. So here we are, we can create a new design. And let's go down to the YouTube thumbnail right here, this template. So here they give you different templates you can use. However, you kind of want to make sure you change a lot of these as people may recognize this. So I usually try to edit a lot of this stuff. Okay, so I grabbed a few stills from a video. First, I'm going to see which one I like better. That has a little bit more expression. Well, this one's more like, hey, click this video. So I'm definitely going to use this one. After we lay down the image, we'll add some icons and some text. And we can mess around with the, we can make it all caps, or just simply that. I think this looks a little better, it's easier to read. So I made a few adjustments to the text and to this icon right here. But one thing I want to touch on is adding contrast and saturation. Because when you are looking at a thumbnail, it's very small. So you want to add more contrast and saturation to really make it pop. And at first it may seem like, oh wow, there's way too much. But 
once it's smaller, it actually doesn't look so bad. So if this is roughly the size of a YouTube thumbnail that would show up, it actually doesn't look too bad. And I kind of like how this all looks. It's simplistic, may need to make a few adjustments just here and there, but overall it's pretty good. So once you're happy with your new thumbnail, just click download and let this download straight to your desktop, which we will upload to our video on YouTube. 